Hello. Today we're going to have a look at the third part of the waves unit in National Phi Physics, refraction of light. So, when light passes from one material to another, it changes speed, depending on how dense the material is. Since air is not very dense, usually it will slow down when it enters another material and will speed up when it leaves again. For example, a glass block like this. So these red lines are, uh, represent the wave fronts of a light wave as it enters the glass block and then as it leaves. And as you can see, the wave fronts slow down as they enter the block. And then as they leave on the other side, they speed back up again as they move from something less dense into something more dense and then back into something less dense again. The other thing that happens when light enters the block is, as you can see, the wavelength changes. So the distance between these red lines decreases as it enters the block and then increases as it goes away. Because as the wavefronts enter the block, the one behind sort of catches up a little bit until they are moving at the same speed inside the block again. And then as they leave, they accelerate away from each other until they're moving at the same speed again. So as light enters the glass block, its wavelength decreases, and as it leaves, it increases. The third effect of refraction is that it can cause a change in direction if the light doesn't hit the block at an angle 90 degrees to the, to the side of the block. So here, we can see the light rays are entering the block, and they are still slowing down as they enter the block and their wavelength is still decreasing as they enter the block, but you can see the direction that they're traveling also changes. And then similarly, as they leave the block on the other side. Now, we can do some measurements with this. In order to do some measurements, we need to draw some lines on here. So the black line indicates the direction that the light ray is traveling. The green lines are known as the normal, and they are a reference line. They're always drawn perpendicular or at 90 degrees to the surface of the block where the light ray collides with it. Now you can see there are two angles indicated in here as well. We always measure these angles between the light ray and the normal. So the angle indicated I on the left hand side is the first angle that the light comes to, and it is called the angle of incidence. The second angle that's drawn, the one indicated R, is the one after the light ray has changed direction. Therefore, it's called the angle of refraction. Generally, as light enters the block, the light will bend towards the normal. So in this case, it bends downwards towards that normal line. And then as it leaves the block, it bends away from the normal. So back upwards, away from that green line. Here are some other shapes. So this is a triangular glass prism. And again, we can see the light coming in from the left here. As it enters the block, the light ray bends downwards towards that normal line. And then as it leaves the block, it bends away from the normal line again. Because of the shape of the block though, rather than the light ray bending back into the direction it originally entered at, it's bending downwards again. So the direction changes. We can, uh, we can draw in our angles of instance and refraction here as well. So the first angle that the light comes to there is the angle of incidence. The second angle after the light has refracted is the angle of refraction. As the light leaves the block, Again, the first angle that the light comes to is the angle of instance, and the second angle, the angle of refraction. One other shape that we need to be aware of is a semicircular block. And the light ray, as it passes through the block here, you can see as it enters the semicircular block, 
provided it's directed at a point midway along the flat surface at the back of the block, it will always hit the curved surface at 90 degrees. And therefore, there is no change in direction to the light ray as it enters the block because it arrives along the normal. As it leaves the block, the light ray bends away from the normal. So we can again indicate our angle of instance, the first angle that the light comes to, and our angle of reflect, uh, refraction there. One other thing to notice is that there's a small amount of reflected light here too off that inside surface. That's known as internal reflection. And if you stay on to do higher physics, you'll find out a lot more about that then. Okay, if you'd like to do some uh, problems about the refraction topic, then please watch the related video about um, some key area questions, which is linked in the description of the video. Okay, bye for now.